Welcome back. We've been moving right along with our declutter, finding some invaluable gems along the way, including newspapers from 1896. Watch as the declutter continues. Well, I am happy to welcome Ron Johns to our show. Ron is the executive editor here at the Utica Observer Dispatch. Ron, thanks so much for having us. We are just having a blast. Let's talk about the history of the, sure. the paper and why this year is so special for you. This year we are 200 years old. It happened in January and uh, we're celebrating the year um, with uh, special sections. Um, daily we have old pages that we're pulling from our archives and, and putting on display in the paper. People love them. Mm -hmm. they, they just absolutely love them and it, it could be a surprise. Uh, it could be one paper from 1846 on one day, next day it might be 2001. Mm -hmm. um, so we try to mix them up and give people a surprise. In the United States, how many papers ever celebrate their 200th anniversary? There are not many. Um, I, I know we were talked about earlier, it was um, the repository in Canton, um, who just, uh, I think it was a couple years ago, celebrated 200. Mm -hmm. um, it, it is not very many. Um, mm -hmm. But the papers that a lot of us know, the Washington Post, yes. you know, they're not even no. anywhere near 200. No, they're not. Yeah, no, they're years not. old. There, there are a lot of smaller papers. There are some of the bigger ones, uh, but uh, it, it is, it is not not normal for that to happen to mm -hmm. reach that kind of mm -hmm. age limit for something that um, that especially in these times has, has seen some turbulence right and we've seen such amazing things I mean newspaper clippings from 1896 and one of the things that Betsy and I were so surprised and impressed by was there was actually color can yes. you talk about that you said that was another paper color if you took a rock and threw it from this building and not too far you have to have a good arm but <laughs> it's not very far from here there was a building called the Saturday Evening Globe the Globe was the first newspaper in the world to produce color. And that's here in Utica, New York. Right in here. It mm -hmm. was and it was amazing. The United County History Center uh, has a, a majority of their publications still on file, so you can just flip through those. This was the only way they got their news. Absolutely. You know, uh, no radio back then. No, yeah. No, no. We're talking so, 1896. And within the, just the city of Utica um, it, itself, there was probably 40 publications going at, you know, in the late 1800s just in that time period. Wow. Um, we're talking German newspapers, Welsh, um, you know, Italian. Uh, they, those were the smaller ones, but then there were the, the, the larger ones like the Daily Press and the Observer, mm -hmm. um, which was the original newspaper of this one here. I'm just so excited to be a part of this organization and we're so happy to help you today. So we want to make it kind of all neat and organized for you and help your team and help you celebrate the 200th anniversary of this well, amazing you. paper. Glad to have you here. Awesome. All right, we're going we're gonna to keep going. We'll be right back. Next up, we finish our declutter upstairs and move down to the basement where one of the old printing rooms used to be and it sure needs our attention. More goodies to be found. Don't go away. Follow us on Twitter at Deborah J. Cabral.